When we are using a Cisco approach to designing new network services and applications and infrastructures, we should examine the organizational and technical constraints that might be limiting the particular organization that we are designing for. Let's discuss very, very typical organizational and technical constraints in this micro nugget. This is indeed a slice of our CCDA training here at CBTNuggets.com. If you're like me, the absolute first organizational constraint that would come to mind is indeed the budget. We absolutely have to be aware that there are always going to be reduced budgets, limited resources, and that things may quickly go out of the initial budget that we had anticipated for a design project. So one of the key organizational, organizational constraints, of course, is budget. Another big one is personnel. Is the trained personnel available within the organization, this is a huge design consideration. Trained technicians should verify that all elements are working in concert and are recognized within our particular network skill set. We should definitely be considering the implementation, the initial implementation staff, and the ongoing operations staff when we are looking at organizational constraints. Yet another major factor for the organization is policy. There might be really set in stone policies within the organizations on protocols, on standards, on vendors, on particular applications and how they can be used. And finally, we have to keep in mind overall scheduling. Can we design things and implement things under a very strict schedule that the organization may be placing on this particular engagement. If you have trouble, trouble memorizing these, I really want to encourage you to use a traditional paper-based flashcard, or perhaps you want to use an electronic flashcard set for the CCDA. Know these organizational constraints of budget, personnel, policy, and scheduling, they can make or break the success of one of your design engagements. And now we turn our attention to the constraints that you probably feel a little more comfortable with. You recognize these because you're more used to dealing with them because of course you and I are, are IT professionals and we immerse ourselves in the world of technology and unfortunately technological constraints. The first one we need to be aware of is existing equipment. The network design process is usually progressive. So our legacy equipment is going to have to coexist nicely with our new equipment. This is a major constraint that we want to be aware of. Also bandwidth availability insufficient bandwidth in the overall network or just parts of the network where bandwidth cannot be increased because of technical constraints is going to have to be resolved by other means. A lot of times, of course, we are discussing quality of service in this regard, and that is something that our CCDA course here at CBT Nuggets goes very much in depth about, and we've gotten rave reviews in that section of the course, so be sure to check it out. Finally, there's application compatibility. New applications are going to be introduced into the network at the same time that we have compatibility with older applications that will be required. So once again, making sure that new services and applications can coexist with older stuff is going to be of primary concern here. So these are the technical constraints that I want you to be able to identify, and we should say the typical technical constraints. It's certainly not a comprehensive list, but it's very, very typical of today's design engagements, and you need to be able to easily recognize these in an exam environment. In this micro nugget, as you realize now, we took a look at the organizational and technical constraints that might exist during one of our design engagements following the Cisco methodology. I sure hope this micro nugget was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.